Hey, welcome back. It's another episode of What Are We Missing? We got another special player on with us. Super sophomore. We saw her play last week or earlier this week um, against yeah. Hudsonville. Byron Center sophomore Lily Zinstra. What's going on, Lily? Nothing much. Happy to be here. Cool, cool. Um, I didn't ask you off camera, but how how you doing? I know that was a tough loss on Tuesday. Talk about that game a little bit. I'm not sure if you're ready to talk about it, but yeah, how you doing? Yeah, it was definitely a rough one. I feel like we played Hudsonville earlier in the season, mm-hmm. and that was like we it went into overtime and we lost by three. So I feel like going into the game, we really did think we had a shot. Yeah. And the gym was packed. That was crazy. Like everyone I knew was there. So that was definitely a cool atmosphere to play in. No doubt. No doubt. And I feel like ultimately we lost that game because we just weren't getting open shots. Like I feel mm-hmm. like Hudsonville so many got so many easy baskets around the rim and like we were unable yeah. to get that and get kind of like a flow to our offense. Right, right. Um yeah, I think a turning point to I think you got like your second foul in the first quarter. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, that's so rough. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that uh I think that was a big moment. Um and I think Hudsonville capitalized on that one. But yeah and one of our coaches like they're very like strict about getting your second foul. Like you have mm. to sit a while. Usually you don't go go in the second half again, but mm. he put me back in, which was kind of nice. But yeah, you know. yeah, <laughs> that's the worst thing about basketball, man. It's foul trouble. It's like yeah. literally changes the entire game. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, you came back in the second half and really did some damage and and kept your team in the game. So, um, but good thing is you got two more cracks at it though. Um, so mm-hmm. yeah, we'll definitely be paying attention on how you and the team does. Um, I know you guys will have a big year next year, so yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. come back strong. Yeah. Well, yeah. So we are really excited to get to know you, um, really as a person and get to know you as a hooper, and um, you know, for our listeners to to get to know you as well, um. So, yeah, we really want to get started from the beginning. So let's just talk about your upbringing, um, your family life. I know you have one sister. Do you have any other siblings? What was it like growing up at the crib? Yeah, so I also have a little sister named Taylor. Okay. And she's 11, so she was a hooper too. So a very competitive household growing up, mm. always in the driveway. Yeah, both okay. of my parents played basketball growing up too. So. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> okay. Did they play in college or? Um, my mom played two years at Kelvin, hmm. but my dad didn't play in college. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, you and Avery then, um, man. So what what's that dynamic like, um, between you two? Very competitive, but like I will say, she is my best friend, and we do everything together. Mm-hmm. Lots of fights growing up when we'd play one on one in the driveway. <laughs> we get mad, and we wouldn't talk to each other for a while. But yeah, yeah, yeah. that's funny. That's, un- that's understandable for sure. Yeah, yeah. We both got siblings that hoop, so we get it. Yeah. <laughs> y'all, y'all still go at it one on one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. During quarantine, we actually like we play one on one to fifty, and the first mm, one to twenty five would get a like a drink. And it was, oh. it was <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's tough. That's tough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, if y'all if y'all two did a best of seven, who who do you think would win? Oh, me for sure. You. <laughs> Once I passed her in height, I was able to like bully her a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. That's, yeah, y'all, that's, y'all, that's, it's crazy that y'all have siblings, that y'all have such different games and the height difference. Mm-hmm. Like right. Tram has that with uh, with his older brother. Yeah. 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 My brother's uh six six inches taller than me. Yeah. Oh, that's so, tough. Right. 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 <laughs> So yeah, we play totally different. Um, but like 
it was the best of both worlds though for for us you know growing up um me having to play against a guy so much taller than me I learned how to finish above you know people that are are bigger than me and then my brother um being so tall and lanky he had to learn how to handle the ball so um it, it ended up working out so when when did you start to kind of outgrow your sister Oh, geez. I think I was in seventh grade and she was a freshman and she was, yeah. (laughs) Okay. Dang. Dang. That was a tough pill for her to swallow. (laughs) I bet. (laughs) I bet. I bet. Um, Uh, Yeah. She's going to Grand Valley though. So that's a. I'm excited for her. That'll be a good place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're a. they're on, on on quite the streak right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, shout out to uh, the Grand Valley women's team and, and Coach Williams. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. <laughs> so, um, you know, you talked about your sister, your parents played, um, you know, but how did, you know, just like your family dynamic, you know, just, just shape you, you know, as a person? You know, obviously all you guys play sports, play basketball, you know, but talk about that a little bit yeah I feel like our family dynamic was like demanding in basketball like my parents always wanted us in the gym outside like I just remember growing up like summers like my mom would wake us up at like seven in the morning go outside do your workout and you can oh, relax wow. with it yeah okay. so I feel like that shaped me in like ways that I can't even like explain like my mm. dedication to the sport and just like my love for it yeah that's dope. So did you like, I think this is important. Did you like express the love for basketball first or was it just like, nah, you're, you're playing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I feel like they definitely got me into it, but like okay. I started playing basketball in like preschool when I was like three or four years old. Gotcha. And I just loved it. Like, I loved working at it. I was pretty good from like a younger age. So I feel like that helped a lot, but I feel like once I got to like middle school, I started to love it just as much as my parents did. (laughs) Okay. So it kind of grew, it kind of grew on you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, Yes. My, my dad was kind of the same. Um, but he kind of waited until we showed that, all right, we, we kind of want to do this on our own. Um, and that was when he really started pushing us. Um, and he kind of met us halfway. So, um, have you seen it before? Like maybe any friends or, um, where they just don't really love the game or their parents love the game more than they do. Have you seen that before? Yeah. Some of my actual closest friends were like that. Like I remember growing up like in sixth and like fifth grade, like I played with like all my Byron center friends on teams. You could just tell that like, some people didn't want to be there at practice. Right. And like, right. they just didn't like it as much. And their mm-hmm. parents were like, you're going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I used to coach uh, like fifth and sixth grade. Um, and as a coach, you can tell that too. Like yeah. what kids want to be there and what kids don't. Mm-hmm. Um, and that definitely causes a, a challenge uh, while coaching. I'm sure it causes a challenge while playing too, when you're yeah. playing with these kids as well. So so um when did you realize you know that you were you know like a elite you know ball player you know obviously you know you said you started surpassing your sister in height at seventh grade so I'm guessing it's somewhere around there but I don't know yeah I've never really considered myself that I just like whenever I play basketball like I just want to win like I just show up like willing to do whatever it takes to win mm. Mm. like I feel like that just carried over a little bit <laughs> yeah yes man I, I appreciate the humbleness yeah, for real <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll say it for you you want your elite <laughs> like for real. Oh, man. I'm, sh- yeah. I'm sure every, I'm sure everyone watching would agree but um yeah definitely appreciate the humbleness though no doubt yeah yeah <laughs> where did you but, where I mean, did you Go ahead, bro. I was just going to say, I was just that, that mindset though, that, that you know, it's funny because you don't, cons- you, you said you don't consider yourself or think about yourself like that, but that mindset is like the same mindset that elite hoopers have. 
Yeah. I'm, just, I'm about to show up and win. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. What, I guess, where did you learn that? Or where did you kind of get that mindset? Um, because like Josh said, really the best hoopers, they just want to win. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, where, where, where did you, where did you learn that? Um, I feel like it kind of started with like my dad. Cause like he was always like myself and him were like always my biggest critic, I feel like. Mm-hmm. And like, I'd get done playing a game and like not have shot my best or not have mm-hmm. like scored the ball the way I wanted to. And like, mm-hmm. I did other things like, but like got, got a, gave assists and got rebounds and hustled and just like ran the ball well and he'd be like great game like we always have a joke that like if I play good he'll give me a hug or a high five after the game and if I okay. don't there's no contact <laughs> yeah <laughs> so like, he just like started to encourage me to do other things and I felt like oh like I don't need to be the highest scorer to win the game like that's Man. not what's most important mm-hmm. that's so that's so right that's so right um Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, you know, Theron, Theron Halleck from uh, Forest mm-hmm. Central, she was saying some of the same things. Um, you know, she's going to Michigan State and I asked her straight up. I'm like, when these scout college scouts are, are at your games, what are you focusing on? She said, you know, all the other things, all the small things, all the, the effort, the energy uh, trying to win the game. If I score 30, cool. But if I grab 30 rebounds, you know, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm even more yeah. excited. So Definitely. that's. That's a de- that's definitely a great mindset to have, because mm-hmm. um, Uncle Drew says it's all about buckets, but <laughs> it, it really ain't. It really ain't. For a small percentage of people, it is. But <laughs> right, right, yeah, that'll benefit you a lot too when you get to, you know, the next level. I mean, benefit anybody because you know when you, for the most part, when you're in high school, you one of the best players, like the other, your other teammates don't have like the skill level or whatever to play in college. But when you get to college, everybody's good. So everybody, <laughs> you know, yeah. yeah. So you really, you really gotta know how to uh, do a lot of different things to, yeah. um, to get out on the floor and all that good stuff. Sure. Yeah. So case in point, I, um, when was this? I think it was like the summer after my freshman year, um there was like that men's league out at byron center um so we played it i think we played against ferris um and my coach came came out and it was just a like a summer league so he wasn't really coaching he was watching um i thought i had a great game i had like 20 something i probably hit like four or five threes and we lost though so i'm like oh you know i play well i play well so why did coach chew me out like i'm like dang i played I play good. I play, I play good. But, man. Yeah. I remember vividly what he said though. Um, he's like, Wes, you're our point guard. Like, yeah, you shot the ball well, but what else did you do? Like, what else did you do to impact your team to make them better? What did you do defensively? You know? And I couldn't really answer that. I'm like, I, I guess I, really, I guess I didn't really have any assists. I think I turned the ball over more than I had assists. So and we didn't win the game. So um mm-hmm that's something that college coaches really have in their minds when they're looking at players mm-hmm. they're looking for winners people that impact the game in, in many different ways so and that's what you do like from watching you you, you impact mm-hmm. the game in, in different ways no doubt so you know uh, talk to us about you know um you know recruit you're recruiting um you know we're talking about the, the college level right now you know how's uh, your recruiting going it's going good. It's definitely fun to go visit places and talk to new people. Mm-hmm. It's a very cool experience. And like, I never thought that I was going to get to experience it till like the last couple of years. Which was mm-hmm. Yeah, like, for sure. Where have you gone so far to visit? Um, I've gone to Michigan, Michigan State, Butler, um, Central, Bowling Green, like a lot of the Mac schools too, Illinois. Mm-hmm. Dang. Dang, that's that's some big schools. <laughs> so, what what do you say is like the most challenging part of this process for you right now? Um, kind of like deciding. Like, I know I still have time left, but like, it's hard to eliminate schools. Like, you talk to people on the phone and you build bonds, and you like 
you feel closer to some and mm. than others and like you go see the school and it's amazing and like you just don't know mm-hmm. yeah yeah mm-hmm. man i think it's crazy how at 16 17 years old you got to make one of like the three biggest decisions of your life um, yeah. Yeah, at such a young age it, it is a lot of pressure um mm. like who do you have in your life that's really walking with you um kind of helping you through this process um well i'm a christian at heart so god's definitely helping me along the way Amen. i feel like my sister is also a big part of it too because like she went through the recruiting process and like when she talks about how she committed to grand valley she's like i just knew yeah i'm like i'm still waiting to get that feeling yeah wide so that's right. a little scary but mm-hmm. yeah that's true though it, it, it really is true um with college and it's true with like when you find a significant other like how do you know how do you know like you just know <laughs> yeah. yeah just know <laughs> yeah but when you're like before that step it's really hard to like imagine it and yeah understand it but i think you eventually get there though for sure yeah yeah um so switching gears just a little bit still talking about basketball but let's talk about byron center basketball uh do you remember your first ever uh varsity game you know how tell us about that yeah yeah it's actually a funny one to remember so our coach didn't tell us who was starting and like at practice we usually do like starters were black and then like non-starters were white and so like i still wasn't like quite sure if i was starting or not and we were playing egr and so that's like jillian brown's on the team this was last year yeah jillian brown macy brown ali carlson so we're about to play this team packed with good players and we walk (laughs) into the locker room and i matched up with jillian brown and i'm face guarding her all game this is what the game plan was i took a deep breath and i was like okay like i'm ready maybe (laughs) (laughs) maybe yeah and so like i did a pretty good job like she did have 18 points but in my defense she got a lot of screens (laughs) Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah that's a tall task that is a tall that is. task yeah yeah especially yeah. when you didn't know it was coming like i did not think that's what i was walking into yeah for sure what do you think would have happened i guess like in your mind maybe going to sleep the night before if your coach was like hey tomorrow you're starting your garden jillian <laughs> what do you think I feel like I would have like been shaking almost <laughs> like I was still getting butterflies like during like school that day because like I was so excited like a little yeah. nervous too but I feel like that would have like rose the stakes a little bit right yeah yeah, yeah. For sure. that's a that's a that's a tough assignment for the first one yeah. Go, go, yeah. go guard a a, a big 10 <laughs> player yeah. why you are uh, you're a freshman that's a that's, that's a big one <laughs> for sure so was that was that the was that at east or at your your place that was at our place okay so i was at the game at east where you guys beat them yeah that was yeah. crazy that was probably yeah. one of my like favorite memories of like our team and stuff like mm-hmm I was talking to my sister about this the other day, how like we walked into EGR and like we went back into the locker room and they had like a hallway and they were all stretching and like blaring music. Like they were so cocky. And we just came in there and swooped them. It was great. Mm. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, you got to love that for sure. Um, Yeah, that was a really good game. Really good game. You guys definitely stole the show that game. Um, But yeah, that first varsity game, so me and Josh both played varsity as freshmen. So we kind of can relate. Um, yeah. So for me, yeah. my first game was at Grand Haven, um, all the way out at Grand Haven. So it's like a 30 minute bus ride. I didn't say nothing to anybody. Um, I don't think you know what it, I don't think you know what a discman is. Do you know what a discman is? Mm. <laughs> yes. Only the old heads do. <laughs> it's today's equivalent to a. Hey, nobody uses a iPods anymore. <laughs> a phone. Man, oh, okay. So we're we're showing how old we are. We're showing how old mm-hmm. we are. So basically a, 
a disc man is you have a, a CD, like a CD player, portable CD player, and you have headphones. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I have my disc man and listening to, I don't know, 50 Cent or something with my head down the whole the whole way. Didn't say nothing. I was nervous. <laughs> um, so we get we get to Grand Haven and you know how you show up um, during the JV game. So we're watching the JV mm-hmm. game. So I'm like watching JV because all the kids are older than me. I'm like, I don't even think I can play JV. I'm like, what? <laughs> These kids are so fast. Like, what's going on? And I got to play varsity, what? So I didn't know I was starting either until um, we get out on the floor. So. Oh, that's scarier. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just like, all right, I don't know how much I'm playing today. Um, we'll see. So we're warming up in uh, Grand Haven student section is on our side um and they're screaming my name so my brother was was pretty good so he graduated before me um so they're like screaming my name they're like you suck you'll never be your brother you're terrible i'm just like yo oh (laughs) jeez like can i play a game first like dang so my feelings are hurt so my coach like taps me on the back and he's like hey you're starting i'm like what yo (laughs) my heart just dropped and then it started beating faster um yeah. yeah it was it was yeah a lot of nerves but my first shot was an and one I drove baseline and one right in front of the student section and like if I if I was like if it was today if I had my mindset today I would probably would have flexed on them or something but <laughs> I just I just like shot it out and I like looked down and like looked away and shot uh, my <laughs> um all the nerves went went away after that and it was a wrap I think I had like 15 points that game too so that's awesome and like when you said like you showed up and like you thought JV was good I feel like that was a different experience for me because like girls basketball like freshmen and JV are like down there (laughs) in competition I would say so I was ready to go before game I was like okay I got this like yeah Mm -hmm. for sure yeah your mindset was definitely further along than mine <laughs> yeah 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 same here <laughs> what was what was yours like josh man so uh, like I, I would practice with the varsity like throughout the season uh, so like i played some jv games and then i didn't like start or anything on varsity and so i had already i started getting accustomed to like running with the guys but then towards like the end of the season like coach just put me on varsity and that was like, all right, now you're about to play in a game. And mm-hmm. so I didn't start, I came off the bench, but it was at uh UAD Jesuit. And so that was a, that's a big school on the East side. And I don't know, the court just seemed huge to me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I was to explain it. It just, I just, it just seemed like it was like, like a football field, like I just, I had no energy, like my, my lungs was like burning, like, but I, uh, I ended up scoring like, like six points, something like that. Yeah. And, and like we got into the locker room and coach was like, you know, how about our freshmen? And like, <laughs> I don't know, I, I feel like I didn't calm down until like after the game. I don't even remember how I scored. Like that's how my mindset was. It was just like, everything was just like, <laughs> like, so <laughs> crazy man so long story short we could all do it we we're nervous but we did it right yep um so to all the freshmen out there that's gonna get moved up next year you, you can do it no doubt um so the next question was what was your welcome to varsity basketball moment was was it guarding jill or like yeah for sure that, <laughs> yeah yeah it came quick that's that's good you got it out the way that's good yes, you got it out true. The way. So then, like, yeah. whoever else I had to guard was no big deal. Like, right. I was like, okay, I can do this. <laughs> yeah, it was only down, down from there. Mm-hmm. Down from there no doubt. Um, so yeah, man, the next question: was, What what has been your favorite game at Byron Center so far? Was it that East game? I think we covered yeah. that too. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you do in that game, though? I did good. I like. So I guarded Jillian again for the first half and she only had like four points. And like, I was walking in the locker room and it was high five in me. Like, let's go. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. It was good. Um, 
Macy or, or Jillian was guarding me too. So I, I think I have like 12 points, something like that. Mm-hmm. Like I was in the highest score, but still contributing. And I was doing a good job mm-hmm. running boards and stuff like that. But yeah. just yeah. a good game in general. Everyone played good on our team. Good mm-hmm. energy. Yeah, everybody everybody played really, really good. Um, if I remember right, McKenna was going crazy that game too. Yeah, um, <laughs> which we needed too. Yeah. Yeah, that girl is fearless, man. Mm-hmm. Fearless, she is. She yeah. She took them two threes, or was it two threes? I can't remember. And the, yeah, the Hudsonville game it was deep yeah. too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, I was all for it. Yeah, <laughs> your sister's three that in the first quarter that that was like NBA range too. That was uh, <laughs> I like grabbed Josh's leg. I'm like, yo, that's deep. <laughs> Cashed it. Yeah, cashed that mug. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Um. So yeah, continuing with BC. So you guys are nineteen and three this year, I, I believe. Um, back to back conference champs, right? Mm-hmm. Um, district champs this year. Um. So talk about how just like the culture of the the team and um, like what makes you guys just the way that you are yeah I feel like at the beginning of the season we all had the same mindset that like this was our year mm-hmm. and like I feel like a lot of our players just chose to like buy in and like trust the process and we all showed up to like all the open gyms all the practices and like it was just like it was special I knew we were gonna go far like sad it came a little short but mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like even just like a group of us, we like go get Peach Wave, our team dinners. Like, I think we just had good chemistry and we just all wanted to win so bad. Like, we were willing to do whatever it took. Yeah. So I think like that was a big part of it. Man, those are all great characteristics of a, of a good team, of a good program for sure. Yeah. yeah. And it sucks that, so you, Rockford, and Hudsonville, really all in the same region, like all three of you could go as far as you want you know what I mean um Mm -hmm. so it kind of sucks that you guys had to meet so early Um, yeah for real we even talked about this that like after like you get out of our region like the teams like it's not like you're playing like a Hudsonville or a Rockford right Mm -hmm. exactly Mm -hmm. um because I think that's what happened to Hudsonville last year you know they they got through East Grand Rapids it was one of them um and that 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 was probably going to win the championship um Mm -hmm, it ended up being hudsonville um so yeah yeah mhsaa you guys gotta fix that (laughs) got some work to do yeah (laughs) and i feel like a big win for us this year even though it didn't really seem like it it was like our district win versus ek because they knocked us out of the tournament like three years in a row for barn center Mm -hmm. that Mm -hmm. was it huge win for us like we were getting so excited and everyone's like guys you won by 30 like but this is a big win for us yeah yeah for yeah. sure it, it doesn't matter I, I know what you mean it does not matter like even if they weren't like close to you as, as far as like talent wise they still got the same name across their chest like yeah it's sure. a mental thing it's really mm-hmm. a mental thing you know what I mean yeah. mm-hmm. um that's how me and Josh joke around about Finley. So we played basketball against or at Grand Valley. Um, so Finley, we could not beat them. We oh, could yeah. not beat them. Um, and like my sophomore year, Josh's junior year, like they were they're an okay team. We still couldn't beat them. Like it was just a a mental block. Like, I don't know. And then finally the next year we finally beat them. It was just like a wow, you know what I mean? So <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you know, having your sister on the team too this year, you know, talk about, talk a little bit about that. Like how special was it, you know, to have, you know, your older sister hooping with you? It was definitely very special. Like I always grew up like playing up on her travel team too. Mm. And so like, that's why I was close with a lot of like the seniors on the team. It's like after the game, that was so sad. Like I was just like, I'm never going to play with you again, which was heartbreaking, but I feel like last year we were very competitive with each other and we like fought a lot at practice just because like we were trying to be the leader of the team and like Mm. 
I feel like this year we really like came together and like just embraced playing with each other and how like we knew each other's strengths and weaknesses and how. Yeah. Sounds like you guys uh kind of bought in and um, decided that you wanted, wanted to win and did whatever you could. But yeah, that, that kind of sucks. Like, you know, that the chapter is, 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 is closed on that part of your life. Um, yeah. Man, man, man. Yeah, that's hard. Don't make me sad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. I know. I know. Um, yeah, I, I played. So my brother got to play with him at, at Grand Valley my freshman year. Um, so he's four years older than me. So he got redshirt his freshman year. So thankfully, that was a good, oh, yeah, good, yeah. a good thing eventually um because we got to share one year together so mm-hmm. i kind of know how it feels you know we lost in the uh in the tournament um and that was his last game at grand valley and yeah it was definitely hard seeing him in the condition that he was in like it's over type thing um mm-hmm. he ended up playing pro a little bit but yeah yeah i definitely can relate um to yeah. how i feel like it's different for avery too like she's sad that like that chapter is over but now she gets to go play college like that's yeah. fun I yep. feel like it was hard to unlike those seniors that I was close with who's like they're never gonna play basketball again. Like yeah. that's was- it's hard, man. Yeah. I think Josh would agree with this. Um like yeah, you, you get to go we we play college ball and everything, but man, there's nothing like high school basketball. <laughs> nothing like it. Nothing like it. Um I mean you're you're gonna play at a high level. Um, so you might feel less than we do about that but <laughs> um yeah high school basketball like I could go I, I would give like almost anything to go back just to play at least one game again you know mm-hmm. so yeah yeah um so let's talk about the West Michigan drive for a little bit um so how long have you have you been playing with them um I think like three or four years okay yeah. Who, so who did you play with uh, before them? Um, I actually played on this like small travel team. It was called FBC, and my mom coached. And okay. I don't know if you know who Kurt Camisad is, or like the name. Coach. And you guys did the interview on like Jack. Yeah. He, yeah, he played on like the other FBC team for boys. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah. That's what's up. So how did it? So we talk about off camera like we know Larry how did that like come together how did you like get on the drive did he like reach out to you how'd that Um, happen yeah so my dad and him are actually pretty close and they text a lot so I don't know exactly how they got in contact but my dad's like hey this guy wants you to come play for him like I think it started off like where he asked me to come sub on one of their teams okay and so that was fun and I feel like it was very like different because like I'm playing for my mom who's not going to yell at me or like she might yell at me. <laughs> and I come to Larry and he is like screaming <laughs> like you can just tell how passionate he is about basketball and that was kind of like whoa like yeah I've never seen anything like this yeah how did you deal with that at first like getting yelled at um I don't really know like it was scary low-key, <laughs> but like I got used to it and, like, I knew where he was coming from. Like, he would never yell at me for something that, like, I disagreed with. Mm. Like, we'd always talk that out. But, like, if I did something wrong and I knew it was wrong, Larry is about to yell at me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was coming. I knew it was coming. Right. But. What's one thing that he, like, drives him crazy the most? Drives me crazy? No, Larry. Oh. Um, <laughs> the Literally, when you go up, and you like completely flail or like get hit and they don't call foul and Larry's like you're being soft you're too <laughs> yeah. soft. Like, that's your fault yeah <laughs> I feel like I, that's his biggest pet peeve I could and see talking that. back to him I would not recommend doing that ever uh, well, I, uh, wouldn't. I yeah, wouldn't I wouldn't either <laughs> <laughs> so who are uh, who are some of the girls that you play with um maddie gear she goes to kent city kt she goes to um east kentwood grace lines goes to rockford 
And then we got these two new girls from Premier. So I'm excited. We're actually having like a new team this year, kind of a good mixture of like a lot of good girls from the area. So that's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. So what's up? Yeah. Talking to Larry, he is really confident saying that you guys are <laughs> going to be the best, best I'm class sure in is. the state, <laughs> best team in the state. So, um, how often, yeah. uh, how often y'all go against, uh, NBA? Um, like last year we didn't play them a lot, but we usually play them like four times, three or four. four times. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to start. I don't want to start. I don't no want drama. to. I was waiting. I was going to see if somebody's going to say something. I don't want to start no drama. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's, 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 that's definitely that's, always like a game that's like, I remember, because like I've played against those girls like forever. Yeah. 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 But you know, you know what's cool about that though is that it's two top programs. Like on the east side is, is one. <laughs> and so, every, you know, it's just, you know, it's, everybody else is just looking up to them, you know, so to have somebody like challenging you and all it does is push you. So for sure. sure. Yeah. And it, and it shows the depth of talent that on the girl side that y'all have Mm -hmm. in West Michigan is Mm -hmm. absolutely insane. Like Mm -hmm. insane is, is not normal. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Love it. Absolutely. Love it. So like even um, when we go to like Indiana for tournaments, like we end up playing like Michigan teams in the yeah. final. Like, mm-hmm. 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 Man, I love that. I love that. So how sticking to with the drive, how since you joined them a couple years ago, how have they made you a better player? Yeah, I feel like I've just become like a better leader playing for them. Mm-hmm. And like Larry's like passion and energy is like worn off on me. Like mm-hmm. I bring that back to my school team too. Like I'm so excited during drills and like whenever we do good, like I just get so excited. And like, I feel like <laughs> that wears off on people. And like all the trainings that Larry puts us through, like he just wants us to be the best we can be. And I feel like that's definitely impacted my game a lot. Um, You know, so how often are you, you know, in the gym, you know, so, you know, you train in, you know, with Larry, um, and then you go to, to Byron Center with it, but how often with all that together, are you getting in a gym to work? Yeah, as much as I can be. Mm-hmm. So during like travel season, we practice like two times a week and then we train with Larry like twice outside of that. Mm-hmm. And then like during school season, like we train with Larry, like on the weekends every once in a while. And then I shoot with my shooting coach, Andy Secor, for like oh, okay. the main shots. And we did that twice a week during school up. season, just to like keep our shot like flowing, make sure there wasn't mm-hmm. any like problems with it and just to get reps up. Yeah. Shout out Andy, man. Um, yeah. He seems like a good dude. I would love to to meet him one day, but talk about how he has really helped you uh with your shot yeah I feel like so before I started shooting with him I was in like a drought low-key but oh wow like so that's when I like started attacking the basket more which I feel like eventually like helped my game in the long run Mm -hmm. but when I started shooting with him like I feel like he's so effective because it's not like he's completely changing your shot right and I feel like that helped like me just like my mindset wise like okay I like my shots fine but like little tweaks here and there and like just getting up reps and like knowing that there's just little things that you can fix to make your shot like eat like that much better yeah like during the season like me and my sister we trained together and like we Mm. were shooting like really good like 55 percent or something like that from three Mm. and then like we're just going in there and we're just like making our shot even better for the next game. Yo, 55%. Hey, I don't shoot that on video games. Crazy. (laughs) Oh, man. Yeah, that's that's dope, though. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, I, you know, I follow him on Twitter and uh, just like all the players that he works with are just really all the top top players in the area man uh he's doing some some serious work for sure yeah mm-hmm. for sure yeah 
Um, man, I feel like we're just going through these questions without even asking them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, so let's give ahead a little bit. So to you, when you're training, whether like by yourself, with your sister, Larry, um, or um, Andrew, what makes a successful training session? Session. I feel like Larry would say just getting a sweat going, but like personally, just like feeling confident about like the skill that we worked on, like afterwards, especially yeah. with like shooting. Like I always felt like confident with my shot walking out of there, like ready to go play again. Mm. Or after Larry's trainings, like barely being able to move because I worked so hard. <laughs> right, mm, right. Mm, mm. That's funny. That's, I feel like, you know, uh, what you said is really, um, like, insightful, like the confidence part. Because, I mean, you can train. There's, I mean, there's a lot of different ways to train, you know. Right. And everybody has, like, their own method or whatever. But the main goal, I would, I would guess, for bottom line, for every method is, like, confidence. Like, sure. you, can, you can do this in the game. That you can take right. this, whatever you're working on, or however long you're doing it. But when the lights turn on, I'm gonna be able to perform. And know? like, sure. yeah, especially during quarantine, we were training so much that like that's when I really started to see that happen. And like we were playing McKenna Ferguson, like we were talking about, like she has a gym in her house where we shoot. I heard, <laughs> I heard. Who told me that? I think Theron told me that. Yeah. Yeah. And so we would play like two on two with like her and she has a younger brother that's my age, mm. Connor. And so we would play like two on two, three on three there. And that's when I really started like seeing like all the moves I've been working on, just like translating to my game without even like thinking about it. Wow. A cool thing to see. Like I was like, I didn't even know when I learned that. Like <laughs> that's yeah, that's the beauty, beauty of the game where you do it so many times it becomes just like muscle, muscle memory, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah. I think that, I think that separates a lot of players. Like mm -hmm. I've seen so many players that look so good in workouts, um, individual workouts and drills and stuff like that. But when they get to the game, it's totally different. Um, yeah. So yeah, being able to move off reaction, um mm -hmm. take what the defense gives you and just man do it all naturally for sure that's when that's when you know you you really got it like that man can i got a she got a hoop in the crib that's uh, yeah she's got a gun too like a shooting uh, gun man stop it's it crazy. <laughs> that's that's crazy that's crazy oh, man <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have to come over and get some shots up for real <laughs> Hey, real, real talk, real talk. I'm, I'm just talking trash right now. Y'all, y'all, uh, y'all shooting 55. percent You know, working with with Andy. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna come through and beat y'all in whatever game you play. <laughs> we'll see. You can join my workouts one time. We'll have a competition. Hey, I haven't shot a basketball in two years, but I'm. Gonna I, was just, I was about to say. <laughs> I'm gonna come through with the flames, Lily. I'm coming okay. through with the flames. I'm expecting that. <laughs> oh man, I'm dead. <laughs> oh man, I'm just kidding. But I, I will though. I will come through. See, see what I can do. See if the old man still got it. Okay. I come yeah. through and watch. I'm not <laughs> participating. <laughs> so, um, so last question before we get to the the quick uh, quick hitters. Um, you know, what are some things that you want to add to, to your game before you get to college? You know, obviously, you know, talking right now about shooting, you know, I already got a clip, but uh, what else you want to add to it? Yeah, I definitely want to, like, continue how I'm shooting, like, right now. Like, I feel very confident in that aspect of my game. I'm mm -hmm. still trying to improve, like, my speed, and I feel like that'll be, like, a good test next year when my sister's gone. Like, I'll be the point mm -hmm. guard on our school team. And just working on like my jump shot game, I feel like would add a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I think next year would definitely be a big year for you. Um, big test, no doubt. Um, yeah. Kind of like Macy this year, really. Yeah. Yeah. She, uh, especially with Allie going down, like all of a sudden it was just like all on her shoulders type mm -hmm. thing. But uh, mm -hmm. 
hopefully you no know, injuries will like happen like that with y'all next year. You guys will be full strength, but I think you, I think you're ready. Me too. Yeah. 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 How how tall how tall are you? Um, I'm like five eleven and a half. So okay. almost six foot. Yeah. Okay. I'm about to say you have yeah. to be about five ten, five eleven. Yeah. yeah. You can be six foot in the uh in the rosters. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> you can always round up. Yeah. yeah. It's you so funny. <laughs> like it's so funny. Um, when you see like people's height on the rosters and stuff. Um, and then when you actually play them, it's like, oh, yo, yeah. you are not like what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as, for sure. As, mm-hmm. Especially at the D1 level. So we we played an exhibition against Michigan State. Um and then like seeing them up close, I'm like, you are not like Draymond Green. I'm like, this dude is not six seven. He is not, not. six seven. He's not. <laughs> like He's not. maybe yeah, six saw, five, you know what I mean? Larry posted like a roster for our year, and I think he has everyone at six foot. And I'm like, <laughs> <else?"> <laughs> like I think every I don't know if that was like an accident, uh, but everyone was looking at that list. That's funny. It's like, yo, this team is big. What? <laughs> yeah, I'll come watch them. <laughs> right, right. Uh, uh, I'm waiting for the person to to undershoot it. You should you should start putting you five eight. Put, put right. you five eight on rosters. Shock right. shock teams when they come in. <laughs> oh snap! She, yeah, I, was she five <laughs> <laughs> eleven? Funny. You um, obviously you don't know the answer to this question for sure but um do you think you'll you'll grow anymore or do you think you're done um well my knees have been hurting again so i think i okay. got maybe another inch i don't know hey. we'll see yeah yeah all right yeah we'll see hope you get get you know six one with it so that would be awesome that's my yeah. mom's dream she goes i just oh, okay. want you to be six one yeah how tall is your mom my mom's like five ten oh, okay so okay she's pretty tall and my dad's like six foot Okay. okay. So I got all the height in my family because my little sister is so small and Avery's like five seven. So yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm. Mm. Man, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. All right. Well, dope interview. Really good. I loved we loved getting to know you a little bit. So we want to yeah. end things uh with quick hitters. So our quick hitters is basically something just like fun questions. Yeah. Um yeah, so you've you've probably seen it. So uh, the first one is, who is your favorite basketball player of all time? I feel like I don't even have one. That's so embarrassing. Wow. <laughs> like, so you say you don't have one? No. Who is your favorite basketball player? LeBron James. Oh, okay. That- <laughs> drop, drop the 50 piece last night. Easy. <laughs> easy work. I missed it. I missed it. 37 missed years it. old. Leading the league in scoring. The team sucks, though. <laughs> We talked about we talked about winning earlier in this podcast. They're not they're not winning. So <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. The, do you, the only do thing you I, have like a my bad. I was gonna say the only thing I, I got going or LeBron has going is chasing uh Kareem Abdul Jabbar for the all time scoring. That's oh, it. Wow. Right now. <laughs> he about to get yeah. traded. He's gonna force I'm, a trade. I hope, man. <laughs> All right. But uh do you have do you have like a group of players that you that you enjoy to watch or that you would say like all right these these three these are like the ones I I've been watching a lot of Caitlin Clark because she's all over everything and like Man. that's crazy watching her play with that big post player too that's really fun to watch mm. yeah mm. yeah. She's been killing me. She has. Yeah. She has. Abby, Abby, Abby Kimball put me on her. That was yeah. I had never, I didn't know about her before, but like, yeah. oh, Caitlin Clark, who was that? Dang. Yeah. Yeah. And so we went to like a Michigan game with like I went with my parents. And it was when Michigan was playing Iowa. And like she was quiet in the first half. And then like I just mm. remember like she hit like three threes from like the logo, just like right in the row. Like, everyone was like Whoa. holy crap like it was crazy like seeing person too because like mm. you watch it on tv and you're like okay like big deal and then you see <laughs> right. it and you're like holy crap that's yeah crazy. oh my gosh yeah um iowa has a a girl that played on the drive too right yes aj ediger okay 
Okay, I thought so. Yeah. I thought so. Where's she from? Um, she's from Hamilton. She oh, Hamilton. Yeah. I did hear about her. I heard about her years ago. Okay. I was wondering where she ended up. I forgot. So, yeah. But yeah, that girl, man. Some of the <laughs> shots she's hitting, man, is is insane. Um, all right. So if you could go to any sports event of all time, like go back and like sit front row, courtside seats, whatever, any sport, where would it be? These are hard questions. <laughs> <laughs> You guys go first. Let me think of mine. (laughs) Me? (laughs) Man. So, me is game seven. I already knew it. Game seven, 2016 finals. Cavs Warriors. Um, Oh, yeah. Kyrie Kyrie hit that three. Bron had that block. Cleveland! (laughs) (laughs) That's mine. Easy. Uh man. Uh I mean, this isn't something that I'm like, oh man, like I wanna I wanna be a part of it. I just wanted to be in the atmosphere just to see the malice at the palace. Like I just I I just wish I could just be on the court just looking like with like a, a safety shield around me. Just like <laughs> that was crazy. I saw that on TV. That was out of control. So yeah, I'm not. I don't condone violence. I'm just, <laughs> man, that was wild. Yeah. That was wild. That was wild. Yeah. Did you think um, of one, Lily? I don't know. I feel like it'd just be cool. Like everyone says, like Jordan was so good, and I feel like he's everywhere. Like just to see him play one time would be like mm-hmm. a surreal experience. I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. He was a. He was okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's good though. Yeah, I would like to go and watch him too. Back yeah, I would too, especially when he's in his prime. Yeah. Yeah. Well. So uh next one. Favorite shoe to hoop in. I always hoop in Jordans, actually. There we go. Yeah. So I had some black and red ones this year, and I had some purple ones this summer. <laughs> okay. Okay. Man. I've never I-, I have some Jordan. I've never ever played. And Jordans ever. Never. Oh really? Ever. It's like like I just can't. Can't do it. I just so I have a real big mental block. I can't. Yeah. Just so, <laughs> like is that the wrong answer? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I hey, was, I got a lot of respect for people who playing hoop and Jordan. They they always look dope. Always. But I just <laughs> just can't do it. I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I got I got some I got some tens right here. <laughs> if I ever like played in these and like s- scuffed them or like they broke, I would be hurt. Yeah. Like yeah. I would be in tears for sure. But <laughs> that's fine. If you if you go to Michigan, you go be hooping in Jordans all the time. <laughs> oh yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> NCA, chill out. Like we ain't we ain't boosters or nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh man. Um, but yeah, we would love to you know stay connected with you. Continue to talk about you know your recruiting process. Um, but last yeah, question sure. is last question is who should we have on the show next? But you would have to help us get this person or these people. Get them. What kind of person are you looking for? Just a hooper. Uh, hoopers. Hoopers is cool. Yeah. Um, there's so many I could choose from. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it would be interesting to talk to my sister after you did talk to me. Yeah. Yeah, all you gotta do is go go across the hall for that one. Yeah. Right, so that's it. <laughs> I, th- I I really thought about I really thought about having the both of you like together, but then oh that would be interesting. Yeah, <laughs> but then I was like, uh, maybe, maybe we just do it separate to like get to know them like mm-hmm. yeah. better. Maybe we could do a show like with y'all together. Yeah, that'd be true. at another time. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. But that's a good one. Yeah, we definitely she's definitely on our list, um, especially mm-hmm. being a, a future Laker. 
Um, Anchor up, maybe. Yeah, we can, <laughs> we can give her all the all the pointers, even though Grand Valley is totally different than when we went. But yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Or my yeah. kind of Ferguson would be a good option too. Yeah, I love maybe. playing with her, and she is a diehard basketball lover. Man, so that's what's up. That'd be awesome too. Maybe we can uh, interview her in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> So funny. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Both of them, yeah, are, are are on our list for sure. So, um, man, another one, Josh. <laughs> another one in the books. Another one in the books. That's a good one. That's a real yeah. good one. You got anything else, bro? Nah, we gonna be back to see you play. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. excited to get playing again. I think our first travel tournament is like right after spring break. So okay. that's not too far away. Yeah. 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 That's what's up. Get a little little bit of a break. Are you taking a break or are you just right back to work? Oh, I've been in the gym a few times already. Just out of pure okay. frustration. Yeah. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. Well, great interview. We really enjoy having you, getting to know you. Um, hopefully this yeah. won't be the last one hopefully it'll be the first of of many so Mm -hmm. um yeah good luck to you this spring go out go out and kill it i'm sure you're gonna get some more offers this spring and summer um yeah josh you got anything else bro no no great interview thank you yeah (laughs) yeah yeah yeah. good stuff Uh, well hey that's another episode of what are we missing uh with lily zinstra it's wes and josh make sure you guys continue to share each episode out um yeah enjoying the movement appreciate all the support all right peace